Okay. Monday morning comic 37. Uh, right. See, the problem with this is I'm going to have to remember all the plots, because what just happened is they just shot Mindy and moved on because Mindy was trying to explain things. So, you made it my, to my command center. <laughs> it's only funny because I play StarCraft. Anyway, I shot my right-hand man in the process. Well, you still won't defeat me because the only way to stop the ray blocking machine is by pulling this lever over here and click. Well, you're not actually supposed to pull it. Are you totally new to this? Come on, save me, world save. Let's go find a Taco Bell. Yep. So he's there. The Z seems a bit more pronounced. For some reason, I also gave him these weird. I can't. I. They always looked like shoulder pads to me, but I was trying to draw it like a cape that would cover, come over Zero's front. Also, there's another. Uh, there's another mouse shape at the end. That's. That's a big. Uh, big angry mouth. So a downward shaped. Mouth. Anyway. Um. Has anyone noticed? Well. Okay. In the first and the second panel, Dr. Zero's text isn't centered. I can't remember if I tried centering it for the most part, but I just did that because in standard comic ideas, you sort of put the the block of text above the person that's talking. So if the person that's talking is on the right side of the comic, then that's that's where he goes. So in the third one, you can see that his Dr. Zero's text is kind of aligned on the right. Not really aligned. It's, it's center aligned, but the whole box is, you know what I mean, and then Jeff's is just over the left hand side, so it kind of makes it a lot easier for me to draw in my stupid little straight lines and things like that, but uh, I'm kind of proud of my switch on the wall. Anyone? You think? Switch on the wall? And then there's that, you know, hand drawn in sound effects, click. I, I kind of like that, and it almost sort of looks like that. Nah, ah, ah. See, here's a quiz. Which hand is Jeff using to, to, to flick that switch? Because I didn't draw any bad thumbs anywhere, but to me, aside from the fact that his shoulder is uh, double-jointed, it looks like he's using his left hand. But that's just me. And I'm also enjoying how Kenny just remains stunned for most of this, while the two... It, this is basically a, a fight between Jeff and Dr. Zero, where Jeff just... Jeff knows all the rules of action movies and decides to break them all. Dr. Zero knows all the rules of action movies, and he tries to adhere to them all, so things just go back and forth. You're not actually supposed to pull it. Are you totally new to this? See, again, there's the, the emphasis is on the word totally there, where it's all kind of... But I, I capitalize to, to, to emphasize it as opposed to put it in quotes or something awful. Oh, don't even get me started. You only need to understand how to emphasize things in text. It just... Uh, I can't... Eh. I can't even describe it. So that's just how I decided to do it. Now, in retrospect, I shouldn't have put... Um, three... Punctuations at the end there. That's uh, So I've got the interrobang, and then an additional exclamation point in the end of it. That's not very good. Oh well. The squiggle, the Charlie Brown squiggle on Kenny's shirt in the third panel looks a little blurry and it just looks like a straight bar. And I think the scanning wasn't picking up all of Jeff's. Anyway, this is this is them. They've foiled Dr. Zero and they kind of move on to do other things. So I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to find out whether they just head straight back to the theater now or if something else happens. So Ag Again, I haven't looked at these in eight years, so... I'm as curious as you are to find out what happens. So I guess we'll find out tomorrow. When we return to the adventures of Jeff and Kenny in Dr. Zero Land. In my head, I wasn't going to continue that sentence and just drop off. I apparently finished it. So, yeah, 30, 38 tomorrow. <laughs>